Yeah, we had a can, but we don't got no soda can, so we don't use a soda can right now, but that's what we were using there. Get it what we wanted, and we fold it. Bit more shaping. Let that set, cool off. Uh, Get that cheese out the microwave. See the cheese. See, we may, depends on how cheesy it come out, whether we use all of that cheese or not. Then we take this in there, and we start cooking this, man. You could call this, uh, that's basically a real, uh, uh, prison, uh, seafood boil, because it be boiling in there. It be boiling it in the microwave. But, um, that's that seafood, we gonna let that cook. All right, so we almost there, man. We are almost there. Just straighten up a little area a little bit, but uh, yeah, we let that rock out right there. Let's get flat. That's what we put the whole foundation on. We put the whole foundation of the food on that right there. And um, we got the crackers, we got the rich. We did have these in there. And I used to eat them often. Very, very good. Yeah, so now we're cooking, man. We're rolling. So now we just waiting. We're on the waiting. We're on the waiting tip. This don't take long right here, so this should be ready in a little bit. And uh, usually I have another one of these boards like this. We have two because we use that one, flip it over, you know, when we take it loose open it and reveal it, we use that to flip it over and um, put it on that board because this has aluminum in it and we can't put that in the microwave. Teddy chip bag has the aluminum in it so we can't put it in the microwave unless we literally wrap it up with toilet, with a newspaper or something like that. So while we doing this, this is almost ready. We got everything else prepped, man. So what are y'all cooking out there today? Y'all let me know if y'all did some cooking today Y'all tell me what y'all cooked. Hit me in um uh, hit me in the comments and let me know if y'all doing any cooking out there. Alright, we're gonna try to open this up and see what's going on. So we're getting this ready. Check this microwave. Oh yeah, she about ready. Uh this definitely needs some more cooking. So you cook this probably about four to five minutes depending on how you want it, but you want it well cooked. And uh, you'll see why when it's finished, but I think this is ready right here. So this is how we usually open it in there. Just rip the bag right open. Voila. See that there? That's what you want. Yeah. Now, being that I don't have another board, I got to improvise. Because I got to get this flipped over onto that board. So, just going to take it out. That. Yeah. See how quick my hands is these days? Ah! Oh, I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. I still got a little speed left for an old man. You got a little something. Yes, yeah, so that's what we want. We want it on here. See, it's solid. So, what we do now, what we used to use, remember I showed y'all the, uh, the oyster top? 
<laughs> excuse me, the oyster top we use to cut it. We'll cut that, but being that we out here in the modern world, we're gonna use a knife. But we use the oyster top, or sometimes we will even use our ID. We would use our ID, we'd wash our ID off. We had IDs that told us who we were, our number and state number and everything on it. We'll wash it off and we'll use that to do some cutting because like I say, we couldn't have knives in there. So we had to do what we had to do. But we got knives out here, so we gonna use this. Cut it. Cut it. I used to do this all the time and I used to make it. The dudes used to always come. I used to make it little squares because I put them on crackers. The dudes used to always come and ask me, man, Banky, let me get one of them squares. Let me get one of them squares, you know? So yeah, that's what we do. Right. Small. See how that stuff sticking together like that? See that? See that? All of that. See how it stick together? So, about the size of a cracker. Come back here. Back. because you already know you got to cut. So you put it back together. And we just wave the top. We check this food, smell it, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. There you go, remember when I told y'all? Seafood boil, look, see it boiling? Boiling and cooking and smelling so good. So good. If you can smell this right now, you will be trying to get to this plate. You can be trying to get there. Now, when I say boil, it literally should start boiling from the oil. So I put it back in a little longer and let it go a little more. And it should start to boil. That's what you want. So I put it on two more minutes while I'm getting the rest of everything else ready. So, should be about right. And in a little bit, we'll be ready to eat. So, how y'all feeling about this? Y'all think y'all like this? Think it'll taste good? Think it'll taste delicious? You know Banky Pound don't make them but pure deliciousness. If you don't believe me, ask Jill. You ever seen Joe bite into my food? See his face? You watch his face when he bite into it? Yeah, cause he know it's amazing. So we almost right now, man. So this is what we gonna do. While we doing this, what I usually do too, I usually spread a little seasoning over the top. So what I'm gonna spread some of this Obey. Being that I'm new with this Obey, I'm gonna see what that do with this seafood. Just a little bit. I usually put that cheese spread across the top too, but this cheese spread looks like the kind we have, but when I taste it, it doesn't use it doesn't give me that taste that I usually have from the ones we had on the inside. So maybe this is a yeah, maybe this is a different flavor. And um I'm really not feeling that flavor, so right now I'm undecided whether I'm gonna put this melted cheese on the top or not because I don't really like the Flavor just the ones we had was sharp. It said cheddar cheese, but this says some, some different types of cheese, a different type of cheese, old-fashioned cheese. So maybe it's a different flavor from what I'm used to. And I don't want to throw this meal off because this meal is super, super good. And I am super, super hungry. So we're gonna see that we're gonna play it by ear. Alright, right now, you oh look, see how I tell you? See food. Boil. See the boil? See that bubbling, bubbling? Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. 
Yeah, that's what we want right there. That's the seafood boy. Mmm. Ooh. Make you want to dance. Yes, sir. So, now, what we would do is this. All right. Get up, up on this stuff here. So, this is what you're going to do here. Now that we got this good and hot and ready, maybe even too hot to hold, too hot to handle, so what you do is you start spreading it out, but you want to distribute it evenly over top of these squares. So when you get your nice amount on there, then you got to get the moving it around. Get the moving it around. You want to cover up all these squares, all these good old squares. Going to want some of this good food up on them you know like you gonna want it in your stomach these squares gonna want it to be up on them so that's what we do we're gonna see how good it's been a while so we're gonna see how good my eyeballing is if i made enough or just enough or too much we're gonna find out shortly we're gonna find out shortly Man, if y'all like the smell of seafood, you would love to smell this. You would love to smell this. You would think you up in uh, Mr. Boyles or something. What y'all know about Mr. Boy? I ain't know nothing about it. I learned about it since I've been out here. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Oh, I'm almost right on time. Look at that. A little bit to spare. I'm almost right on time. Yeah, get up on that good food. Put it everywhere. Right? That's what we got. All right. Now we got that part done. So put that there. Get that out of the way. We grab a little paper towel. Clean up around your food. Presentation is everything. You know, you look good, you feel good. The food look good, the food tastes good. So, now, we take and throw a couple of these pickles up on here. I put them on there individually because like I told you, I'm not a big pickle fan, but with this meal, they seem to like it more so when I make it with the pickles than when I don't. So, I usually put them on here. Someone asked me recently in the comments, what uh what kind of food gave me gas in prison or something like that sometimes when i eat too many of these it'll be these and not too much else maybe some cheese sometimes but you know it's part of life all right now get up on this food here and uh watch this preparation being made let them see all of this good stuff going on up in here. Distribute your stuff nice and evenly. All right. Then we go to this here. We're going to go to this triple cheddar. What we usually do on the inside then is we would get uh, blocks of mozzarella, blocks of sharp cheese, uh blocks of kobe jack and we would have to literally chop it all up into small pieces like this and mix it all up in a in a jar and shake it up so we have a blend like this and we'll sprinkle it on our food and that's what we used to do but like i say we're in the free world now it's already chopped up and diced up for us so we don't argue with that so you get some of that and you spread it across the top Nice and evenly across this top here. Right. Y'all with me so far? Y'all feeling this? Y'all seeing what is seeing what we are uh, seeing what the bank is cooking? Not the rock, but the bank. You see what the bank is cooking? 
I know y'all can't smell what the bank is cooking, but you can see what the bank is cooking. All right, we got that down. Now, like I said, I'm undecided about this cheese, but what we would usually do is take this cheese and we would hit it again in the microwave and get it where we could just drip it right on there. But as I told you, I'm really not feeling the flavor of it right now. So what I'm gonna do now is just go straight to the microwave with this. And get up in here. And all we need to do now, perfect, perfect. All we need to do now is maybe put this on two minutes to get you uh, nice and heated up, warmed up. This microwave has a plate in it. We do not need because we ain't doing no spinning. Now, we ain't doing nothing now, we're just waiting. We're just waiting to see this greatness come up out of this microwave. Then, we're gonna get to the best part. Eating that stuff. Eating that stuff. All right, so. Here. All right. So while we wait, man, I want to thank all of y'all for rocking with me in 2020, man. I want to thank y'all for coming over to the Bank of Pound Channel, man, and embracing me, embracing my story, man, embracing my life and the things I went through, man, my struggle and all of that, man. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all out there, Team Bank of Pound, man, all the way. All my supporters, man, all my people that rock with me showing up from day one. Y'all, I appreciate y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. And uh, we're going to make this thing bigger and better in 2021. We're going to do all we can to do to, to grab everybody out there and put them on this, this train, man, this train of positivity. So y'all keep on rocking with me out there. And we're going we gonna to try to get this food jumping too, man. We might even get a Banky Pound food truck. Who knows? You know, and we're going to spread this food with some positive energy all around the world man so yeah we almost there we looking good we looking good up in here man i wish y'all could taste this man i wish i could send every one of y'all a nice old square where y'all could taste this food man and enjoy this but uh y'all gonna be able to taste it in spirit man i'm definitely gonna eat something for y'all that's for sure let me see if it's all right uh we may need a little bit more Gauging this microwave out here. This is a smaller microwave than what I'm used to, so throw those things off a little bit, but you just have to adjust. Just like everything else, when you're in there, you gotta adjust. You can't have everything the way you want to have it. You definitely can't have it when you want to have it. So you have to adjust, man, so I'm used to it. I don't sweat, I don't cry, just keep it pushing. That's what I would uh, suggest to all y'all out there. When things get you down, man, just pick yourself up and keep on going, man. Be your number one motivator. Be your number one motivator. If you motivate yourself, man, everybody else is just adding on. That's just cherries on top. You already be self-motivated. So I'm self-motivated. So I appreciate y'all love. Y'all give me energy to keep on going. Y'all give me energy every time y'all tune in, every time y'all hit a comment, every time y'all send me something and tell me how much it helped you or tell me how much you got out of something that I said, that gives me energy right there to keep on going and keep on pushing. So I appreciate y'all out there, man. We gonna all... Uh, we gonna keep on going, we ain't gonna stop. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna stay up in this kitchen too. I hope y'all getting these recipes down. I hope y'all trying this food. If y'all try this at home, I want you to make it. I want you to take a picture of it and I want you to send me the picture and I want you to tell me how good it tastes or how bad it tastes, depending on if you messed it up or not. You just let me know. Cause I do wanna know and I appreciate it. Some of y'all made my lasagna. Some of y'all made my pizza, man. Y'all made some good, good, good work out of that. I seen some nice uh, visuals of it, some nice pictures. So hopefully y'all do that again. Uh, oh yeah, we getting, we getting there to the good part now, man. We getting to the good part. This is what's happening right here. I think she might be already. 
Yeah, you get up on this. Look at this stuff here. You see this? Work of art. Smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Ah, ah. Yeah. So, this is what we got right here. Yeah. So now, we can really get to the real good part. You know? So, that's going to be devouring this. So, let me make sure everything is on point because I wouldn't want to give this to nobody if it won't right. So, just like I used to do on the inside, I taste it first. If it ain't right, then I just throw it in the trash. I don't want nobody eating and say I made it and it don't taste good. So, I got to be, uh, got to be my own tester, you know. And I'm a tough critic, so it ain't no telling. I might not like it. making it out here. See that? Look at that. See how that stuff just pick up off, off of that? See that? Now, what you would do is, you would put one on a cracker, another one on a cracker, Put that on the cracker, and you will see what you're working with. So, here we go. Delicious, if I must say so myself. Mm. And I hadn't ate this in so long, I almost forgot how good it was. Oh my goodness. And that's without the cheese. That's without the drip on top. Only because I don't know that cheese is not what I'm used to. And I used to stick with what I'm used to. But that is delicious, man. I wish y'all could taste this. I want y'all to try this at home. I hate to be greedy on camera, but I gotta try now because I ain't ate all day and this is good, man. So I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming out here rocking with me. Look, as always, 2021, stay positive. Keep focused. And remember at all times to be safe, be smart, and make good decisions, man. Team Banky Pound, man. I love y'all, man. Go get you some of this in your life. This is delicious. Mmm.